And here we are at the other side of my family's uh, musical taste. I mentioned before that my dad was more the hard rock guy, so while he would be the one that would be into Black Sabbath, Deep Purple, Alice Cooper, my mom would be the one that would be on the more poppy side. So think more like, I suppose, Hollow Notes, Elton John, maybe even Partridge Family. I'm sure uh, she would have no problem with me mentioning that uh, publicly. But uh, I seem to have gotten the bulk, best of both worlds with them. Elton John's actually become uh, one of my favorite artists over the years. And if you're going to be going after one album of his, uh, actual album as opposed to a greatest hits, hands down, the consensus is that Goodbye Yellow Brick Road is the one. This was a double album when it came out in 1973. And he pretty much covers every single genre over here. Everyone knows Candle in the Wind, Goodbye Elbert Road, Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting, Benny and the Jets, but he does a lot of good stuff on here. He even has his uh, tribute to some reggae on Jamaica Jerk Off. Uh, don't mind the double entendre with that. But my favorite one on this is actually what's playing now. Funeral for a Friend and Love Lives Bleeding. Uh, Love Lives Bleeding. I think I slurred my words for a second. This actually goes for 11 minutes. Like, if you're a progressive rock fan, you're probably attuned to 11, sometimes 20 minute songs. For Elton to come up with that, it's amazing. It's a really good showcase of his talents. And if anyone hasn't heard this and you're a classic rock fan, what are you waiting for? Go get the album now.